And first and four, you're looking live now at the continuing traffic congestion on Interstate 95. More than 24 hours after a trailer burst into flames and exploded under the bridge. Less than an hour ago, one of those lanes reopened to traffic. Good evening. We're glad you're with us tonight. I'm Catherine Brown in for Lena Tillet. I'm Dan Haggerty. The crash happened around 2 p.m. yesterday on the northbound side of Interstate 95. The closure sending drivers on detours all over the place around done or leaving them stuck in that backed up traffic. WRL's Matt Tallhelm live for us and done with a look at how things are getting going there today, Matt. Yeah, Dan, I want to step out of the way and show you right away what's happening behind me here. You can see there are inspectors up on top of that bridge and just below it, there are some folks up in these lifts. They are underneath there. I've been able to hear from here what sounds like cutting some steel as they work to do some minor repairs to this structure that holds up the bridge. The state tells me it is safe. That is the news that will save thousands of drivers a whole lot of time on the trip up 95 tonight. When you have an 11-month-old in the car, brake lights become a nightmare. He was fussy, so we had to stop because he doesn't like sitting in the car like that. Imani Speaks and her family were making good time on their road trip up I-95 from Georgia to Virginia. I saw an exit for um, Pilot, so I was like, okay, it's coming up. It said two minutes. Until time stalled when her drive reached Harnett County. I kind of pulled over a little bit just to see. And I was like, oh no, it's driving. That frustration had been felt by drivers for more than 24 hours after this burning box truck stalled under the bridge that carries northbound lanes of 95 over US 421 in Dunn. And CDOT closed the bridge, forcing drivers down to one lane to detour off the interstate. Drone 5 flew over the backups, which stretched several miles. Okay, so we just got to the end of the traffic backup right here on the Cumberland County, Harnett County border. We're going to time out how long it takes to get through. We rolled slowly along with northbound traffic for three miles to the Dunn exit. We finally made it through the traffic one hour and nine minutes later. Inspectors removed samples of the singed steel support beams under the 67-year-old bridge to test at a state lab. Those samples show no damage, ending the traffic disaster that lasted longer than a day. And back out here live, those crews are up. They're making those minor repairs. The left lane of traffic is open up there. They expect the right lane to reopen as soon as 7 o'clock. You can actually see some sparks flying uh, from the work that they're doing there right now. That both lanes, though, could be open again by around 7 o'clock tonight. That's also when they plan to reopen US 421 heading into Dunn. The detour signs are still out here right now. So that lane, those are, lanes are closed as well. But all of that should be cleared here within the next few hours. Some good news for anyone that has to drive out here tonight. Yeah, especially when I hear that it took you three hours or one hour to go three miles. That's faster to get out and walk kind of territory. Matt Tallholm reporting live for us in Harnett County. Thank you so much. Uh, new at 4 o'clock now, all lanes are back open at another major crash in the last 12 hours. This one on I-85 near Hillsboro. Last night, one person was killed after a tractor trailer overturned and caught fire. That driver has not been identified. The crash, though, prompted a massive shutdown there of both lanes of I-85 until about 30 minutes ago. Brian Schrader is live in the WRL Live Center with an update on these traffic, the traffic in these two areas, Brian. Dan, I just checked the sensors there in the Hillsborough area. 85 is flowing freely in both directions. Of course, that bridge there, the 86 bridge, is going to be closed for a couple of days. We are seeing some delays showing up in that area. I want to talk about I-95 and Dunn. As Matt showed us, we saw those huge delays through the day on 95 northbound. We have that left lane open, and those backups are starting to ease up a little bit. Of course, we're expecting everything to be open around 7 o'clock. A lot of people have been using 301 as an alternate route. We are seeing some delays there in Dunn. 421. That northbound side still is blocked, but right now we're not picking up any backups on the sensors.